Well, hello everyone, welcome back to East Vineland, New Jersey's, I guess we could probably say the last few days of East Vineland, New Jersey, our months, depending on how you want to look at it. Uh, we are going to be wrapping things up on this map pretty soon. <clears throat> I uh, see that we have finally spawned a crate of sunflower oil. This oil production stuff is lengthy. Wow. I honestly don't know how many months that took, but it seems like it took a while. What did I say that was? Sunflower oil? Look how quickly I forget. So welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to East... No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I remember. Uh, sunflower oil. Um, March, then. This month. Oh. All right, then. Where do you want to go to? 6,400. Seems silly just selling one pallet, doesn't it? Supermarket. $6,400. You're going to stay right here, my friend. We're going to wait till we get a little bit more <clears throat> friends to join you, hopefully. Which leads me to my next thought. Which is our fields. Now, I was going to skip ahead to April when we last saw each other. And then I remembered we've got a bunch of fields that look like this, <clears throat> just plowed and ready to go. And we need to plant some stuff. Then I thought, well, what should we plant in these fields? And I'm thinking, since it's kind of the getting towards the end of the map, <clears throat> I was thinking, you know, maybe we need to just focus on planting for production and really oil, right? Because I think the oil... I mean, we could do cotton, which will make fabric, which will make clothes. But I kind of want to just go straight to, I mean, we can do corn. Corn can do a few things. We can do corn oil. We can do cracked corn, flour. I think we're going to go oils, though, which means that we're going to want to plant. I'm thinking sunflowers on this field, our old poplar field. We can do sunflowers. Uh, we can hit that this month. And then on the remaining the remaining fields, uh, kind of a toss up between maybe some uh, soybeans. Let's see here. <clears throat> so soybeans, maybe some corn, and uh, we do have our olive orchard, which I think is going to be coming around next month for us to start working on. Uh, canola is a possibility, but well, we're going to start with sunflowers. Why not? Uh, there's our cedar, but where is... What's over here? We'll take that. Grab our M8. Hope everybody's having a good week. It's been kind of a crazy week for me, weather-wise. Holy smokers. Did we have an ice storm? I feel very fortunate. Never lost power. Never lost internet. Um, a lot of people have in my area, though, lost power. I think they said, I think the last count was like half a million or something silly like that. It's just crazy. The news loves to, you know, make big headlines um, out of just about anything. Um, Wow, has the news changed over the years? Yeah. Yeah. Not not in the best way either. But anyways, we'll get back to that in a sec. So oil seed radish, new. New, new. Sunflowers, yes. We oui, mon cher. Sunflower seeds, please. Gracias. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. So we're going to do some sunflower action. Um, I feel like I was just on the verge of something, but eh, anyways. Let's get her kicked off here. Get her fired up. Lower our cedar. Maybe do a little bit of a headland thing here. Yeah, the media is quite funny. Um... I remember growing up, my dad watched the news every night, right? I mean, that was just a gimme. It didn't matter what else was on TV. 
the news was coming on. And of course, as a kid, you know, you didn't want to watch the news. You wanted to watch, you know, whatever show was on, reruns of the A-Team or whatever, Dukes of Hazard or whatever nonsense you wanted to watch, right? And I have this feeling that the news many, many years ago was slightly more professional and well done than it is uh, during this day and age. I watch the news sometimes, and I actually laugh out loud at how bad it really truly is. Uh, 40 feet. I mean, I'm talking about things like just, uh, I, I mean, uh, now, you know what? I probably shouldn't even get on this subject because I get it. I don't get angry, but annoyed um, at just how bad it is, just how bad it really is. It is it's just not it's not real reporting anymore. It's not fact finding. and <clears throat> It's just it, it, none of that matters anymore. It's just, you know, it's just social media on the TV. Um, and it's just kind of ridiculous. It's looking all right. I think we're going to have, we are going to stretch out this crop and see how good of a harvest. I am going to, ooh, thought I was going to take that sign down for sure. But you know what? We're farming. That's all that matters. I was reading a little bit. I did a, a search today. What's that little spot there? I did a little search uh, today on the latest in farming technology. And I thought it was kind of interesting to see what uh, what all their they're looking at for the latest in farming tech and stuff and it seems like most of it well a lot of it um, centered around um, robotic farming artificial intelligence you know pretty much the things that you think of with tech uh, you know everyday tech just making its way more into uh, into farming and I would imagine someday <clears throat> in fact I think we're definitely going to start seeing which is kind of a shame I think but I think we're just going to start seeing a lot more automation uh, less farmers in the tractors with their, with their butts in the seats I mean I would imagine right now wrong keys there I would imagine right now that it wouldn't take a lot to convert a standard Kubota tractor let's just say to being fully autonomous being just go on its own I'm kind of amazed that more of that hasn't already happened. I mean, we've got GPS, you've got guidance steering, or, you know, auto steer. Um, <clears throat> you've got um, camera technology that is absolutely fantastic. I mean, we've got cars that can stay in their lanes, and, you know, Tesla does their thing and whatnot, and I'm not really sure what the hindrance would be uh, to doing that. A cost thing, maybe? And maybe that's what it's going to come down to someday is um, when this technology gets to be cheaper. Maybe that's what it is. But I would imagine someday we're just, we're going to see, you know, we're certainly going to see tractors and combines out in the field with nobody in them. I mean, they're talking about airplanes um, with no pilots. 
I certainly think we could manage plowing a field without a farmer. I'm not sure how I feel about that. You know, it's it's one of those things where I look at it and I go, man, you know, because you always think jobs, right? You always think, what is this going to take away? Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. To me, if, if it gets to that point where you're talking full automation, then you're probably talking about, you know, really large conglomerates owning farms, owning land. You're not talking about the family farm anymore. You're talking about massive um, what are, farm co-ops or, or what have you where you know where uh, because with automation you're not you're, you're farming 24 7 there's absolutely no you know other than mechanical breakdown there doesn't have to be any any stopping other than weather well weather and, and breakdowns but otherwise, you don't have to sleep. You know, nobody has to. You know, nobody has to stay up overnight. And nobody has to put in the long hours. There's, you know, I don't. Know, it'll be interesting to see. I'm not really sure why it hasn't gone further that way. If I'm being honest with you, maybe more of it's. It's got to be a kind of a cost thing. It's because I, I can't imagine. Uh, now I'm not a farmer, of course. So maybe there are some. There's probably some other things there that I wouldn't know about because I'm not a farmer and it's not in my, you know, not my wheelhouse to, to say, well, you know, what about this, this and this kind of thing. Of course, you know, if certain groups had their way, um, there would be no farms which and that's and that's not being silly that's being legitimate there are groups of individuals who hate agriculture and believe that it is um, you know just destruction to the planet and I just and I, I just can't relate to these people at all um, no vision no understanding not really sure where their food's planning on coming from but And wouldn't this be a sight that you'd miss? Really, though? I mean, I, I can't imagine living in a world where there's no big combines going down a field and, and these great tractors and it's amazing, this huge equipment and everything. I don't want to see this Kubota go anywhere. Look how beautiful that thing is. Absolutely gorgeous. Man, I regret not being a farmer. And I know there's, there's, it's not all glory. There's no question about that, but boy. It's got to be up there with one of the best jobs in the world. Even if you're on a, you know, even if you're not dealing with the latest and greatest equipment and, you know, these new tractors and, you know, you're not a Mike Mitchell or something where you're, every year you're getting new, the latest and greatest new toys, you know, even if you're not that, if you're just a, on a small farm, you're still using, you know, your, your grandpa's tractor that he bought brand new in the 60s I mean oh, it's just wonderful stuff so what do we <clears throat> what fields so we've got <clears throat> this field here <laughs> I don't know how I got out of the tractor with my uh, with my water pistol there I almost forgot about this field I'm glad I kind of paid a little more attention because I almost forgot about you Mr. Wheat 
so we've got this field here and we've got our two corn fields and our previous soybean field over there and I'm just thinking if we want to do more sunflowers if we want to hit this field with sunflowers as well because we've got uh, these three fields here I'm thinking um, I don't want to spread it out too far because I don't want I'd rather have a bigger yield or bigger yields to take to the oil factory you know um, I mean we can do corn again soybean oil I, I if I'm being honest I, I guess maybe I knew there was soybean oil but not exactly one of the more popular oils is it uh boy I used to love soybean burgers though and oh man when I I remember uh the lunch lady <laughs> making some amazing soybean burgers you get used to the taste and then you really at least I did and I really really liked them um you can still buy them today too if you uh, look at those morning star I think is the company morning star burgers don't get the black bean ones though eh, a little, little shady but if you get the real soybean burgers yeah they're not bad they're not bad uh let's do another sunflower field and then maybe we'll hit uh quite a bit of maybe we'll do some uh <clears throat> make uh do some soybeans maybe some more corn but let's hit another sunflower field here why not Always looks nice from the road, right? People driving by and they see those sunflowers. Nice and pretty, big, huge sunflower fields. Speaking of the, the future of farming, too, is I looked at, you know, I watched uh, season two of um, Clarkson's farm. I looked on IMDb and it already shows season three, so I don't know if they've already been renewed for three or not. I sure hope so. I think it's just a f absolutely fantastic show. This year, I felt, I honestly felt like this year was even better uh, than season one. Um, and the only reason I kind of feel that way is because I felt like I really feel like like Jeremy Clarkson is extremely sincere about his passion for farming now and I really think he is you know I, I, I hate to say it but sometimes it takes celebrities for people to listen to and I don't get that I've never gotten that I've never understood why if you look at somebody like um, Leonardo DiCaprio, you know, the guy actually sounds dumber the more he opens his mouth. But you, you look at somebody like that, and people honestly will listen to somebody like that for their view on politics and religion. And it will name the subject, you know, well, what does Leonardo think? Who cares what Leonardo DiCaprio thinks about anything? How is he different than than me or you? Anybody watching this video, there is no difference, except the guy makes ungodly amounts of money for movies. Other than that, these 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 actors and uh, actresses and you know just stars in general. They have no qualifications, but yet people just lap it up. They just lap it up, man. You know, what's Leo saying about the environment? Well, here's here's an idea. Listen to what Leo says about the environment and then believe the opposite and you'll probably be in a lot better shape. You know, <clears throat> in fact, 90% of anything most of these television personalities say is it's just pure nonsense but I look at like a uh, Jeremy Clarkson and I really really I mean it really moved me how passionate he became during this second season with really standing up for farmers and really I honestly don't think he realized you know how how the 
the red tape and the and just the insanity that they were going through. And I think if I'm a farmer in Great Britain, if I'm a farmer in the UK, I'm guessing, I, I'm, obviously I'm not a farmer in the UK, but if I were, I'm guessing most of them are very happy that they've got somebody like him stirring up some controversy and, and you know, stirring the pot a bit. Because based on what I heard during this second season of Clarkson's Farm, wow. Wow. I, I wouldn't even know where to begin to... to, to <laughs> on how to fix their their situation over there. It's It's really, really sad what those farmers have uh, what they're up against, and uh, and it, and it actually, I, I, you know, I can see where it just it's just it's got to be so, so frustrating to have your entire livelihood, probably generations. I mean, you're talking about farms that go much further back than they do here in the states you know as far as generational goes and <clears throat> to be sitting there watching these politicians who probably don't know how to boil an egg making life altering family altering decisions for you that you can't that you have nothing that you can do nothing that you can say or do about it and really really just well basically altering your 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 family's fate you know boy am I being I feel like I'm just Debbie Downer today right but it is. It's, 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 like I said, I, I wouldn't even know where to begin with it. And that's because I'm just, you know, I'm just a normal dude that <clears throat> probably is missing some other stuff there along the way. But it's, it is, it's a, it's an interesting, it's an interesting situation. And that's why I really hope, <clears throat> um, I really hope Clarkson's Farm Season 3 is on again. Because I really feel like <clears throat> the way it was going this season, um, the way it was going this season, I really think if we get a season three, we're going to be seeing a little bit more uh, on the political end of of the farming business um, there in the UK. I think it could get pretty interesting. You know, hey, he's got the money, and I mean that's right. That's what it is a lot of times, right? It's who's got the money. And I'm not saying it in that way where, you know, who can he pay off, even though at this point I'd probably be okay with that. But but he's got the money and, and the resources, therefore, to, you know, to do stuff. And I, and I don't want to spoil season two if you haven't watched it, so I don't want to get into it too much. But there's no doubt. There's no doubt season three would be would be pretty interesting i wonder it makes me wonder if amazon you know certainly they're aware of you know what they're putting out on their streaming service and it makes me so sometimes it makes me wonder you know if they're thinking hmm we've got a lot of interest in the united kingdom do we really want to be supporting a show that may not make, you know, some decision-making polit pol politicians unhappy. Because we might just need them to vote on that cheaper, you know, tariff bill or something like that. That sounds a little paranoid, doesn't it? But I don't think it's too far-fetched.
So fingers crossed we get a third season. If nothing else for the entertainment value. Just an absolutely fantastic show. It definitely became one of my favorite shows um, that I've seen in a, in, a, in a very long time. You know, it just it 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 uh, meets all that all the things I like. You know, it's got it's you know based on farming. Love to watch farming stuff. Jeremy Clarkson's pretty pretty funny guy, regardless of how you slice it. Caleb, of course. And I don't think they muster it up too much. I don't think they go too far. I, I really don't think they go too far with the, uh, you know, the uh, adding drama to things. I don't think they have to. I'm sure there are things that are done that are like, hey, this would be better if if we did this, this, and this, you know, and of course there's editing. Um, I know I missed along the edge there, but these fields that gradually do this number, yeah. But I don't think they have to do a ton of that. I think I think they pretty much send the camera crew out there and uh, just say, hey, you know what? It's Jeremy Clarkson. It's a small village. People hate him. Clearly people don't really like him too much there. Oh, well, what are you going to do, right? Another brilliant job done by Mr. Uh, Mr. Kubota. Let's do a quick repair in our M8 and our Cedar. We know we're going to be using them some more. We'll give a little scrub up. I think she's deserved it. I don't know why it's Mr. Kubota, but it's she deserves it. But, hey, neutral, uh, gender neutral, you know. I'm hip. <laughs> I think just saying that makes me not hip. Okay, there's one more thing I kind of wanted to look at. So the color configuration mod has been updated. Again, which I think is brilliant. Clearly the modder must be getting some suggestions and, and just kind of adding to their brilliant mod as it is. So I just wanted to take a quick peek here. Ah, uh, yeah, very nice, look at that. So you can do standard RGB, you can do giants built in, I don't know what they call it, uh, giants GRGB, giants RGB. But you've also got now freeform selection. Pretty slick. Very much like that. Now this color H, S, and V, I'm not super familiar with that. I don't know what all that is. Maybe if you know, you could let me know. I might do a little Google Foo and see if I can find out what... So hue, saturation, would it be hue, saturation, and... I know what word I want to say for that, but I'm not... Gonna... <laughs> Hue, saturation, and I, I don't know, victory? <laughs> I honestly don't know. Um, value, uh, I, I can't even think of anything good. It probably comes to me. It'll come to me after I stop recording. I'll be like, oh, you idiot. It, Virginia, that's what it was. Reminds me of Seinfeld where he's trying to figure out that lady's um, name. Oh, it's a classic episode. <laughs> Rhymes with a female body part. <laughs> Celeste? I don't know. It's classic Seinfeld. But yeah, no, it looks like the color configuration mod has advanced even further. Very cool. So now you can do, you know, they added copy and paste, which I really was happy about. You can save, of course, your settings. Now you can freeform it. Um, the only thing I wish you could do is I'm so used to hitting tab on the keyboard to tab to the next value. So I would love to be here and then hit the tab key and go here, hit the tab key and go there. I'm not sure if that's something that's even possible with a mod like this that's um, the way it's designed or not, but 
That would be pretty sweet. Other than that, though, really appreciate that modder continually adding to that color configurator. I really like that mod. It's pretty, pretty slick. And for Friday, that is going to do it for Kubota Farm. Um, yeah, we're going to have the weekend here. I kind of have a feeling that um, I'm going to be putting some more work into East Vineland. If I do, I'll do some recording and send it on out to you. Let you know on YouTube that something's heading your way. You can always subscribe and hit that reminder bell. Leave a like. Much appreciated if you enjoy the video. Otherwise, have a great Friday. Um, and if I don't see you this weekend, have a really safe and uh, hopefully relaxing weekend. <clears throat> and uh, nothing else. We'll be back here Monday. Take care, everyone. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.